The Upper Peninsula is typically a mining area. It's been a lot colder, things are warming up a little bit. Uh, we've not been as much of an agricultural area as uh, other parts of the state. We import 93% of our food from an average distance of 3,000 miles away. Uh, we're at the end of a very long food transportation network. So we're trying to become a much more resilient type of area. We see a billion dollar opportunity here. Agriculture, we, we spend a billion a year in the Upper Peninsula on importing food. One of the things that we don't have is good soil. So as we developed this Partridge Creek Farm, we started composting and trying to build our own soils. And we realized that this was a potential income stream that could make us sustainable. When food is thrown into the landfill, it breaks down anaerobically, so without oxygen as that landfill is covered up. And basically it produces a greenhouse gas called methane, which is 80 times more potent than carbon dioxide. Us starting this compost facility in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan is kind of setting the standard of what this could look like and better waste management and waste diversion. Partridge Creek Farm was very focused and dedicated on community health, bringing the community together around healthy food, right? Growing community through local food. And compost was just this kind of small ancillary thing that we did to in, in order to just grow food and have compost for ourselves. But we started getting phone calls like, hey, can we get some compost? Hey, can you pick up our food waste? Compost is a huge growing industry and there's money in food waste, right? And so we made the decision to explore what it looked like to separate these two entities, to have two different missions that supported each other. And so Partridge Creek Farm is growing the food, growing the community, and Partridge Creek Compost has got a deeply environmental mission that also is related to the community, but that supports diverting food waste and, and creating compost, right? Which is so important and so beautiful. Because there's a lot of mining activity in this area, there's a lot of lead and arsenic locked up in the rocks underneath the earth. The state is concerned that with a, with a biological or a, a really biologically active leachate, such as what comes from compost, that if that sinks down far enough into the soil, that can free up that lead and arsenic and it can get into the groundwater. So the liner is to, to keep all of the leachate that runs off. We can use our retention pond as a breeding ground for the bacteria that we do want. So we can train those bacteria and have them replicate in the pond and then put that water back onto the compost piles and help break down the, the stubborn food that doesn't really want to break down on its own. We are using Plastitex Tech 5 membrane surface as the liner in this pond. It's been pretty easy. You just roll off what you need, cut it to length, and then it lays down pretty flat. We're going much faster and much nicer looking welds today than yesterday, so the learning curve is clearly pretty fast. The material is pretty easy to handle. It's malleable, it has a good amount of stretch, but not too much. When we were required to create a, a lined retention pond for our compost site, we approached Plastitech to see what we could do about that liner. It's the best company I've ever worked with in terms of uh, just colleagues, people who, who work with me and not against me. 